decisions are really bothering me. Every time I try to eat my muffin or drink my iced coffee or relax, these damn pigeons keep coming back. Once upon a fry, the pigeons you see in the street, we lived in the cliffs. That's why we're called rock doves. But one day, a human captured us with one of them booby traps. Booby traps, that's what I said booby trap. Big war and Hey, I'm the one telling this story. Anyway, so you guys took us home to live with you. And it was at that very moment, a rock dove's life would change forever. Forever. Because Ooh. until then, there was only one type of rock dove. A wild one. But because the future lineage of this dove would be raised in captivity, you humans decided to give it a new name. A name that would define this wild pigeon as a domestic species. And just like that, Triplicus totalis. You had two types of rock doves. But what happens when you put something in a box that was never meant to be there in the first place? <laughs> what is it? What happens when you try to define something whose very definition is that it can't be defined because it can't be controlled or restrained or bound by rules because it's wild? So naturally, when it gets put in a box, it wants to break free. And that's exactly what happened. Your special Columba Livia Domestica found its way back into the wild. But wait, how can you have a pigeon that you labeled as domestic living in the wild? That won't make any sense. But instead of acknowledging our return to freedom, you gave us a third name. One that implies we belong in a cage and prevents us from getting the respect that we deserve. See, man? Nuh uh. No. None of that's true. Yeah, it is. You're damn right it's true. And now, because of all your silly labels, you got people like this saying we don't belong here. Because pigeons aren't native to like the United States or Kentucky. What we're actually hunting is feral pigeons and there's no limit on them. There's no law against killing them. We're actually like, you know, what do you call it? Whenever they want you to kill something, like they're prom they want us to kill pigeons. I don't really know what it's called. There is definitely a word for it. Yeah, it's called an invasive species. And not only is it the worst label of them all, but it puts us in one hell of a predicament. An invasive species is defined as a species that is non-native to the ecosystem under consideration and whose introduction causes or is likely to cause economic or environmental harm or harm to human health. It must be pretty damn convenient to create definitions for things only to make yourselves the exception whenever you feel like it. Especially when considering you're not even native to where you currently live. Message! What are you clapping for? I'm not done. So if we're feral because we're an escaped domestic species, are you saying my native environment is a cage? Can I just stop you right there for a second? When people do this, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> you know, maybe if you weren't so busy trying to keep us in a box, you'd realize you're in a box right now. One of the easy ways for people to understand anything is to simply place it into a category. Now of course, knowing what something is sounds like a great idea because understanding our environment is how we survive. But in order to define something, it can really become putting somebody into a box. When you pigeonhole someone, you put a label on them, you put them in a box. Here, I'll give you guys a little tour if you want to uh, come in. The first most obvious reason why people would label is to pigeonhole someone. And let me just show you guys how I fit in there. It's just another signal to your brain that this belongs here. Pigeonhole. 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 Who created the boxes we're supposedly supposed to fit into anyway? Exactly. That's why you tell each other to think outside the box. Because deep down you know 
that all the man-made definitions, the labels, the categories, the templates, the rules, it's all bullshit. Bullshit is the glue that binds us as a nation. So don't ever let anyone define who you are. And stay wild, my friends. Don't shake it.